Hi, I'm just going to give you all a quick example of flat lay photography. And by flat lay photography, I mean photography that is being taken from above onto a surface like a wood surface, marble surface, comforter, you name it. Um, so normally for um, kind of my personal like hobby business, I uh, make light switch blades. I love taking pictures on my dining room table because I just love the texture of this wood. I do have hardwood floors, but I'm just, I mean, I like my hardwood floors, but for taking pictures of fashion or like the products I make, I just don't think my floors have enough visual interest to really grab a potential buyer. So that's why I use um, the dining room table because I feel like it's a little bit more modern. So here's just a few things. But what I suggest for the flat lay photography is to determine what you want to take a picture of. Once you determine um, what it is you want to capture, maybe you have like a few items, be it candles, flowers. Okay, I have a fake flower here, but you might want to use real flowers. Rocks, you name it, that will be great accents. If you're doing clothing, you can do sunglasses, jewelry, things like that. I'm just going to do my light switch plates from Creative Route. Um, so let's say, for example, I'll just pick uh, the two. Uh oh. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm messing stuff up. I'm messing my props up. Uh, but let's say if I just decide to do the owl plates. Um, and I could play around with possibly having maybe a candle there, you know, and then try to envision, like if I'm doing this for Instagram, then I try to frame it in my mind, like how it would look, or maybe I'll take a couple of pictures, square pictures of the layout like this to see if it feels balanced with maybe like a larger item and then maybe a, a smaller item here. You know, should I add, you know, maybe some candles in there or maybe I'll, I might decide like, okay, well, these candles don't quite work. So in that case, um, maybe I'll just go with the flower. So this is a huge flower, fake flower, right? But I'm framing this. So I don't care that the stem is going to be outside of the picture because when I frame it, you know, it's going to be something like this, right? So, I think I like the flower better than the candle. Um, and I may go see um, if I have another flower to add to this, but I think this will work. Now, I am losing the light here. Like, I suggest using as much natural light as possible. Um, I'm just doing this later in the day. Um, so the light, you know, it's about 5 30 uh, PM Eastern standard time. So we're starting to lose the light a bit, but if this was like early in the morning, like nine, 10 o'clock, the sun would be beaming in here and I would really get like good tones on my products on the table. So I definitely recommend doing this, um, when you have as much natural light as possible. Next, I am going to just show you how to take the picture from up above because in the article on startafashiontruck.com, what we do is we recommend using either a um, ladder, a step stool, a bench, you name it, in order to allow you to get that picture from above. So let's get to it. Okay, so now photography time. Um, I have messed around with the arrangement of the... I light switch plates a little bit more and actually I decided to overlap them slightly we're losing the light a little bit but I don't have too much of a shadow which is perfect so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna step on this bench and then I'm gonna take a picture from above all right and of course I'm working with smaller items but this will work with um, clothing also. And so when you take a picture from up above, what you want to do is go completely uh -oh, 
above it. And then if you see my camera is um, just straight down. It's not angled off to the side. It's a completely above the product. And I'm just gonna start taking pictures. And I'm gonna take several different pictures from above. Okay. And you see I'm not using a flash. I am making sure uh, as I'm taking the pictures, usually, you know, I'll have um, like a preview here on my screen just to make sure the light and everything is right. And of course, I'm going to take a ton, realistically, if I was taking this for a real photo shoot, I would take a ton of pictures. Even if I was just taking this, a picture for Instagram, I probably would take like 50 pictures too. Um, but, you know, just experiment, see what works for you. Um, see what texture surface works for you. Once you find the right surface, try to take pictures on that surface over and over again to give your Instagram or Pinterest account or whatever, your boutique, um, a consistent look and feel. And then also start like messing around with what I call like a modular layout. And you'll see um, basically it normally equals up to a square. So I'm just gonna play around with this. I don't know if it'll really work or not, but if you see this, maybe come in a little closer. Um, it's somewhat of a modular layout where it's almost like an exact square, right? And you've probably seen those um, layouts on Instagram. Usually they're with a lot of little things. You know, you can even break the square a little bit by adding flowers. And of course you see all of this in the background, but once you take that square photo, especially for Instagram, everything cuts out really nice and even, and it looks uh, amazing. So the key here is just to experiment and then just to figure out what works for you.